We just introduced the first session of the South Conservatorio, and I said, this is basically a course that will teach you how to read. And you think, I know how to read. Well, what, do you, what, do, what does it mean to read when what we're talking about is reading a scientific instrument or reading a, a film? How do you learn to read these things and you know, read these things in a ways that will uh, help you to do interesting historical work? The vision for the tutorial was based on the idea that we know we want to teach students not just stuff, we want to teach them the skills for engaging with sources, for reading well, for articulating in uh, the context of a classroom their arguments on point. If there's any place in the curriculum where that should be taught, it should be in the tutorial program. Um, and uh, the sophomore tutorial in particular should be a place where students come in and learn the most basic but critically important uh, skill they'll need to do to master in order to succeed, not just in our concentration, but at Harvard and we think even beyond Harvard. How do you read well? The tutorial is organized um, around a conceit in which the students practice their skills most effectively by teaching the, skill, the, the, the material that they're learning uh, to their peers. Instead of my telling them, here's what's interesting, here's how things connect, they tell me. And they don't just tell me, they tell each other. They say, look, uh, here's the big theme, here's the big question, here's what we mastered and studied, and here's how we think it speaks to and opens up uh, questions um, and issues relevant to the theme. Now one of the other things that we're doing to enable this process for the students is we're inviting leading experts in the history of science community to enter the classroom on a virtual basis and have a 15 or 20 minute videotaped conversation with them that then gets put up on the course website as part of the orientation material. When I spoke last um, spring to the sophomores uh, that I was currently teaching and I said to them, I'm going to put in for uh, this interesting grant opportunity that um, might allow us to improve the sophomore tutorial, what do you think I should ask for? Sophomores, they were saying rather plaintively, are a little bit of the forgotten year. Uh, and in particular, there's very few explicit efforts to encourage sophomores to go and do independent research abroad or, or outside of the confines of the campus. So what we've done as part of the overall uh, revision and overhauling of the tutorial program is we're putting into place a program called the, the Hauser Sophomore Scholar. And we'll give them an opportunity about midway through the semester to apply to do this. They'll go for a week, they'll research their case, they'll come back, they'll write it up, and it will just be a kind of taste, uh, an opportunity just a little bit to flex their wings and to see what original research, see what independent uh, discovery uh, of, of, of new sources related to big questions might feel like. Success will be shown in the degree to which our students get it down the road, the degree to which we begin to see palpable changes. I think success would also be um, evident if other departments or programs took an interest in what we're trying to do here and if there were any you know, efforts to see whether other programs would be interested in talking to us and adapting for their own purposes the kind of structure that we've developed here.